The show is in 35 minutes and we're suing the look on me. Buongiorno Milano and welcome to the most hectic fashion week of all. You got it right, it's the Milan Fashion Week and we tried to count how many shows we have. And let me tell you before we start going ahead with this adventure that I think that this Fashion Week is going to be much better than any others because we really prioritized. I remember on the first day of Milan Fashion Week last year, I did six shows and another six appointments. And I remember going to bed night before anxious because I was so scared if I'm gonna make it all, if I'm gonna be able to. And Filippo was like kind of telling me like, don't worry, it'll be fine well we wanted to avoid that this season so your girl here i'm very proud of myself let me give myself a tap on the shoulder i really prioritized and made an incredible incredible schedule there'll be like some great shows so of course like i already told you you know the fendi prada gucci check we'll be going to alberta ferretti etro we'll be going to gcds we'll be going to some shows as well that are kind of new and very 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 exciting that i think you guys will like today is a very busy day i woke up at like six already like lots of things to do and I actually already had three fittings but Mia's only just joined me from London so we are starting the day from the second half we're gonna have some fittings we're gonna have some shooting we just did a lovely shoot for my three so which you would have already seen on my Instagram by now. I'm very proud that I'm collaborating with them on the shoe club this season. So you can see that on my Instagram. I got some incredible pairs of shoes, which you will hopefully see as well in this vlog. And next up, we have a fitting. So I think we've got to get going because we're going to have a lot to organize afterwards. Guys, now still very, very casual and, you know, neutral. And we are actually heading for my, what's going to be my third fitting of the day, which is Dolce & Gabbana for the show it's been a very while since i've been to a show so i am very excited to see the collection in person and see the clothes which i think is going in an incredible direction i'm loving all the corsets all the maxi skirts i actually love the chalkin collection so let's see what they've got prepared for us I love it. And it has a belt, which is here. But I love it, you guys. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. And I love the maxi skirts. We need very, very high heels. Yep. Platforms. If you don't have, platforms. I can even do some do like neutral. Platforms? Yeah, platforms would be amazing. Let's try. We yeah. If we have the I'm other. not even going to take my socks off. I just want to understand the okay, idea. Yes. Approximately. How's the height? The height is perfect. perfect. Yes. I love this, guys. Yes, because I think you don't have to see the shoes. No, exactly. It needs to be perfect. like this. Yeah. Because if it would be like this, no, no, I wouldn't no. like mm -hmm, it, you know? Too. Amazing. Yeah. I have my look. Ah, oh, perfect. I love it. I love it. It's yes, crazy. That's perfect. It's so, so crazy. easy. Good morning, guys. What you missed from the last time that I saw you is that actually last night I went to like big opening dinner of Milan Fashion Week. It was in collaboration with Starbucks. It was really nice because it was at the Rose Tree here in Milan. And honestly, like everybody was there, like from Anna Vintour to Lizzo performing. <laughs> It was not too big, it was quite small, but it was really, really amazing. Had such a good time. Also with my friends, like, you know, Lito was playing her flute. That was pretty crazy. Anyway, today is the first day of Milan Fashion Week. Usually it's the busiest day, to be honest, but I think it's like today and tomorrow that are going to be very busy. And then we're gonna kind of live a bit better quality life. I still need to do my makeup. I had my hair done at 8 a.m. this morning because that was like the only time that I could fit it in the schedule. We have Fendi, Alberta Ferretti, we have Etro today. We have Brunello Cucinelli presentation. I'm gonna start day with a bit of like Max Mara group. So I'm gonna go make myself a little bit more presentable and we gotta get going. Let's do this. Okay, guys, we are on our way. Just like very basic makeup because I'm gonna do makeup later for the Fendi show. I am wearing the suit that you guys know. This 
is the wardrobe New York City Hailey Bieber collab. You will see it probably when I'm standing with my burgundy New Balance. And I Minnie mean, Kelly just literally like grabbed this from the last night because it was already packed. I am reviewing the video that is going live today because today is Wednesday. So I'm just like re watching it again the last time to make sure that everything is fine before it goes live. And we are heading to two presentations, but they're in the same place. Let's check my calendar. It is uh, 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 Weekend Max Mara Signature Collection by Kate Fallon and Max and Co collaboration with Anna Del Russo. So we're gonna see them both at the same place, two different ones, Weekend and Max and Co. And yeah, I'm very like relaxed and casual as it's morning, but we're gonna change that soon. You guys want done one more to go and then i can go home to do my makeup and the girls can go to bring all the looks this is the part of anna de la russo collaboration for max and co and honestly this is the most anna de la russo piece that i've ever seen in my life this is just her i can imagine her wear this for sure and then it's very colorful bit of green pink yellow some crops oh gorgeous dresses some tube corsety tops and lovely Okay guys, here we go. I just wanted to see you this suit when I'm standing. I'm sure you've seen it already before if you watch my previous video. But I just, you know, it's such a versatile piece. I'm wearing the Kate short sleeve top underneath. Can you see? Hopefully. This is a very innovative way of showing. And honestly, like, I really love this suit. I will link it below. Everybody told me that they love my look. Everybody. Everybody I spoke to, they were like, love your suit. So that's it. Now we're gonna get into the car and I go get ready. I wanted to give you a little update. <sighs> still here we're going to fendi next i have my invitation it's here we'll give you a little closer look so right now i'm trying to plan that we're gonna need like one universal bag i call it in the universal bag what i need i need like a moisturizer for when i'm changing and sometimes i get like a dry skin i need a coca-cola light because i live of it basically i need some mints i need some makeup touch up you know like those little bits and bobs that you might need well that's what we're gonna pack now a universal bag i need to film a tiktok for my tiktok in case you're not following me I think you should definitely follow to see how I'm getting ready to defend the Fendi show and going to defend the Fendi show. This is the invitation. I'm going to show it in the TikTok in details. And then we're going to head. We have like 40 minutes before we have to leave. So I want to make sure that I finish this. Then we get to the show. We're also going to be doing like reel and some pictures. The camera is charging. And yeah, that's basically what it is at the moment. Guys, what is this even? So I was filming a TikTok that went really well. And I closed the pants. Like there, you know, there's a space. It's not like they're tight, but the zip just decided to snap on me because it's like, mm, you seem like you're having a great Milan fashion week. Let's just make it a little bit dramatic. So now we're trying to sew it on on me and then we're going to have to cut it open after the show because otherwise the show, like we have to leave in five minutes. The show is in 35 minutes and we're sewing the look on me. So if you think fashion week is easy, this is the real. But I have smart girls that are thinking fast and we're doing well. Okay, so my look of the day, just wanted to show you a quick little Fendi situation. My trousers, you already know what we, situation we had, but it's all fine, it's all good, these things happen all the time. I have this knit, which I love, look at the back. The back is gorgeous. I have these glasses, which I'm gonna take off because, I, oh, it's very great, actually. I'm gonna put them back on, then everything is so pink. This pink bag and the wedges. And let me show you properly. And also, I forgot to tell you, I broke my little toe last night, so... I can feel it. It's really bad. I almost couldn't say I know it's my second time in my life that I break it and I know the feeling it hurts throughout the day. It's not the worst thing, but to wear heels when you broke your little toe, it's tough. my moment of walking the show it's not just you getting to walk i am on the runway i'm walking and i don't know how it works you have to show me how it works well she usually walks the show a good morning oh, it's not morning I mean, good morning ah!
Okay guys, that was Fendi. Your girl is changing and I am a new person. Total look Brunello Cucinelli. We're on our way to Brunello presentation. Honestly, like I wanted to just say a few words about the Fendi show. It was really, really nice to have all the people back, you know? I mean, back post 2020 because it was a lot more people than the last several seasons and it was just so nice. I also felt like there was a lot more influencers and celebrities. I mean, it was really great and the, at the end when Kim Jones came out I loved seeing Donatella Versace she stood up and she was clapping yeah. him like so cute I love I love seeing like also other designers support their designer friends now we're going to Brunello I love my look it's um, sort of like linen black pants I have this kind of very signature sparkly knit cardi which actually zips this little top necklace and even a bag which is very very like casual chic style so that's it and let's go and see what What's up uh, for the fall winter 23 Brunello Cucinelli Okay guys, I wanted to show you quickly my Brunello look, but the driver's arriving. So, linen pants, which we've shown you, the belt, the sandals, the bag, and wait, I'm gonna tell you something in the car. I wanted to tell you something about Fashion Week that you don't know, but my girls know. So I was wearing these shoes, right? But I told you that I have a broken toe and now it's completely black because it's bruising. So if you think Fashion Week is just dressing up and being cute and smiling, it is not. It is also going around in high heels with a broken toe. But it was very nice because I just saw Becca from Style.com and I also want to tell you girls what he said. He said that he was watching uh, my YouTube videos on like a playlist and it really means so much to me because I, I really admire him. I think he's very successful and I think that he has like such an incredible way of summarizing the really important stuff in just like five words, which is a great skill to have. And he was saying that he likes the kind of the human touch of the videos. So we need to always keep that going. The enthusiasm of being in this industry and like feeling grateful and never forgetting how it felt the first time I was invited to the show I think it's something that I never ever ever want to lose now let's hydrate we have literally like two minutes at home because it was convenient to stop by and we're changing for Alberta Ferretti I'm just putting on the look let me show it to you it's like very kind of ice cream colors the kind of ice cream flavors that I personally like I am going to add a bit of color I'm gonna add a bit of color to it I changed those so up a little bit jewelry i need to retouch my lipstick and i'm a little bit hungry as well we have some popcorn in the car right i think i'm gonna add a touch of orange also because let's see how this is gonna feel i like this let's see how it's gonna feel on my toe Oh, it's okay. It's a bit squashed. Yeah, it's a bit swollen. I can feel it. So subjective feeling is that my shoes are size 40 and my left foot is size 43 because I feel like my little toe that is broken is not very big, but the show must go on guys. Who cares? Nobody's gonna care, you know? Like I have to now fulfill the things I signed up for. So love my look. This is it. This kind of like ice creamy colors, orange. These are the Prada shoes and I'm gonna have a beige like spaghetti Bottega bag. Let's go to Alberta Ferretti. So, so love does exist. Love I does know. exist. Now <laughs> is the love, huh? Now is the real love. But you're you're shining. You're glowing. Yes, amor. He makes me like this. He makes me happy. He makes me satisfied. Like, what are you looking forward to the most this week in Milan? And don't say pizza. Oh, it is. <laughs> That's, I was like, ah. yes, what are you looking forward to the most this week? Are you going to do any shopping? Uh, we leave first thing tomorrow. Yeah. No. We arrived today. We leave tomorrow. We're very short. Yeah. 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 Um, well, you both look gorgeous. Thank you so much. I only saw you three days ago, yeah, like in New York. No, yeah. it feels like it was three days ago. I know, it's what all a bit a of a blur. Ago already. It feels like it was a night ago. Yeah, it's all one big blur. When do you leave? I'm leaving actually in like three days' time. Are you gossiping? Yes! <laughs> okay, I have one question. What are you looking forward to the most this Milan Fashion Week? Mm, aside from the gelato and the pasta. What's he gonna say, pasta? I was gonna, I was gonna yes. say, don't say food. Of course, the show.
Uh, how was it to not sit next to me at one show? Both today. Okay. I think we okay. now need to like put a public uh, yeah public this. announcement. Like this is not okay anymore. And did you struggle a bit? Yeah, I don't know. Like honestly, today the energy is not like always. Like, you know you, what I you mean? You feel it too? Of course, I feel it. I mean, like also like just one joke of you, the sassy one today with yeah, Andy. Yeah, I was like yeah, snap, snap, snap. Yeah. But that was it. Learning from the best. Wow. What did I say? I can't remember. But I you were so remember. funny. I can remember. What was it? I asked my photographer, like, oh, maybe you do like the front row picture. And you said like, yeah, I'm like two seats next to you. And I was like, but make sure to cut her off. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was very funny. You know, I love yeah. jokes about me. Like, I, I don't get mad, you know? Yeah. But you also, I think, can take a joke about Yeah, but sometimes when, like, more people are against you, it's a little, a little bit much. No, I think you're a tough cookie. Like, no, in the end, some... No, but that's how I look from the outside. That's, like, the whole thing. But, like, I'm a Scorpio, like, what people think of me. But deep down, I'm a Pisces. So, I'm, like, a little sensitive emotional, petal. sensitive... Oh. Puppy. We always suffer inside. How many days until our birthday? Z? I it's still too long. 12th of March. 16th of March. What are you doing? Receiving gifts, I hope. So if you go to Miami, you would have your birthday in Miami, right? Exactly. Guys, Etro looks here. I actually really love this print on this navy and I'm obsessed with navy that helps. These shoes. I know you guys didn't like them. I have to be honest. I love a bit of a platform. Might not love the front of the shoe, but this goes really well with the look. The problem is my broken toe. Is it gonna work? I don't know, but it's just one show. And then I'm gonna change into comfy shoes because I literally don't wanna have like a broken foot. So loving the look, loving the navy, loving the print, loving the crop top. This is so cute. Later I'll just put a navy blazer on when we go for Ginevra's event and my navy cargo. Ta da! Let's go. You got that something, baby. What is it? This is very stressed. I'm freezing. This is an interview. I'm freezing. What did you eat today? Today, in total? Yes. So I started with a full bag of chips as a breakfast. Hi, it's an interview. Okay, okay. I started so a full bag of chips bit. for breakfast. Then, then I had some, uh, like a bag of blueberries. I went to like a grocery store just and... Uh, I know, one like, You know, I love that one. Then I got, what else did I... Oh, then I ate like two chocolate bars. Which one? Which kind of chocolate bars? Kit Kat. Okay. Both out of my mini bar. Kit Kat oh, and Mars. So you pay seven euro per Kit Kat? Uh, okay. That's, you know, the state of mind when you're like doing, yeah, you know, worst, like whatever, worst, just yeah, give me just everything. Give me, what I, need everything. I need to eat something yeah. then. And then I went again on the way to get like a croissant, also really healthy. Croissant? 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 Like uh, with this yellow cream, vanilla cream. And um, I think, yeah, not really nutritious. All the all the gummy bears I found well, in my bag. Well, the blueberries bag. are nutritious. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did what else? You and I had the three coffee, three cappuccinos. Okay, I had the three coffees as well. Yeah. I had a bag of popcorn. I had a ham and cheese toast from Marchese, my favorite. And San Ambrose are so good. Tomorrow I have some San Ambrose. And then I'm going for dinner now. Where? Nobu, I think. With who? With my friends, Xenia and Jorgen. And where is your boyfriend? He's also coming. Good morning guys and welcome to day two of Milan Fashion Week. This morning I woke up feeling very much like I can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good because now I like my alarm went on at 7 30 and I promise you when I came home last night because we had dinner my boyfriend was asleep and this morning when my alarm rang my boyfriend was asleep and I was just so jealous of this anyway we're doing hair Paul's here we're doing something a little bit messy because my 
outfits today are a bit classic and then you guys just have to wish me good luck because today is the busiest day we have four shows we have Max Mara we have Prada we have Armani and we have GCDS tonight very long hours from the first show to the last show on the calendar and I think um, yeah after today is done everything will be much easier so let's get going if you love me let me hear you say my name Today started like so casually and so easy and then all of a sudden it turned out being so stressful because at one point the girls were like we need to leave in three minutes and I was still in pajamas and I haven't even finished my makeup so we like rushed to Max Mara it's in the most gorgeous venue I don't think I've ever maybe I've actually been to a show here yes I've been once to a show here it's absolutely stunning I'm wearing this Max Mara look white trousers white waistcoat I'm really into waistcoats lately white kind of like over jacket I got my Gucci jacket I got my Saint Laurent heels and I've got these beautiful Max Mara mask sunglasses really love them I think they're like you know for the early mornings oh and I've got my Tiffany hardware earrings I love these earrings so much they always add like a, something to the face I will link them below so you guys can also check them out this is basically the look now uh, there is coffee guys there is coffee okay we're gonna drink coffee and go to the show you look very pretty this morning yeah, well every morning but you know this morning especially how's life Amazing this is white. interview what are you looking forward to seeing today i love that you and i have the same idea yes i'm so into waistcoats do you love waistcoats same i, I love it too. yeah but mine is a jumpsuit oh my actually. god yeah, i love it even and this material yeah. i mean difficult to iron but still I, I was gonna say if you sit in the car yeah, the moment you, you sit <laughs> it's over this location is gorgeous it's amazing I think it's one of the best same Stop. We are arriving at a presentation for Kate Kate. It's like a really gorgeous belt brand. I really love it. Like Filippo often steals the belts from me. And we're gonna see the new collection and then I really need that coffee. Second coffee of the day. immediately of you. I think it's so my style. So 100%. Yeah. You should uh, for sure. I love uh, all the belts. And this belt. Yeah? I love it. So good. Like metal. Yeah. I honestly think they do so good with like these kind of details. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous. Wow. I think also Filippo would like it. Yeah, I think right? also Filippo. <laughs> right? Like, guys, 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 guys. I have very exciting news. We didn't have any time to update you after KTK presentation, but honestly, I received a gift from Prada and it's this gorgeous, can we just focus on this bag? This gorgeous green bag, like it's puffy. It's another one to re-edition 2002 group. So it's like a kind of iconic Prada moon bag. And what can I tell you? It comes in like green, it comes in green clearly. Black, yellow, I believe Xenia told me she got white, pink, brown and i was like you know what green is just what i need i love it i love it love it love it i'm wearing this kind of like from the last spring summer 23 runway show collection i don't know if this is yet in the shops my look we will show it to you later it's like a skirt and a jacket that is a little bit scruffed like a paper you know and i got my prada sunglasses i thought i'd go for these ones to like spice up the look a little bit you know to add like a modern touch and prada also sent me the shoes these are from the runway collection i think they were saying like okay tamara please we're sick of seeing you wear all always the same Prada shoes, uh, two pairs that I wear all the time. So they were like, please wear another. Otherwise, honestly, I would have worn my Prada shoes that I wear all the time because they're like the most comfy shoes ever. So yeah, very, very excited for this. So happy. I actually filmed the TikTok. So go on my TikTok and you can see me unbox it, get ready and all of that other good stuff. And now let's go to Fondazione Prada. I even have my coffee, so happy right now. We arrive early because we need to shoot the look because afterwards I'm gonna have to run home to probably redo my hair if I can make make it on time to film a reel and to get changed and ready for Armani. So it's very busy, busy, busy day. I think we should shoot a look here with that background. So hopefully you would already see the pictures on my Instagram.
you like the show? It was insane. It was insane. It was so good. It was the biggest applause also I've ever heard. Love you, look. Show us your back. I arrived home, I removed my makeup, I put on this comfy the raw dress because it just feels so good to wear something comfortable. Alex came from mm -hmm. Frank Provo because we have 20 minutes to change hair. And then I will have, oh my God, 15 minutes, Alex. 15 minutes, yeah. okay. 15 minutes change, pull, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about pulling, <laughs> pull, because there's no, no time. And uh, then I have to do my makeup because basically I have to leave home like right after and I have to film a reel. So it's kind of day like that, but it's okay because tomorrow is gonna be much better, easy, enjoyable. It's just that today is a bit like of a day like that. We've done two shows, we have two more to go. So what's left is Emporio Armani and GCDS. And then I also have have an Emporio Armani dinner with the Armani team. I received some really lovely products here from the beauty. As you guys can see, some concealers, some foundation, some... Ah, oh, this is really nice. I think actually I used this last year for the Green Carpet Awards. I had this eyeshadow on my eyes for the look because the lady who actually was doing the Armani show came to do my makeup. Then we have some bronzer, some lipstick. We're gonna use that for my makeup for the Armani show. And yeah, I don't even know which day. I have two parts parties tonight, GCDS and Prada, and I don't even know how I'm gonna make it, and also another dinner, but at least what's really nice is that tonight I'm gonna see my boyfriend, because I feel like I haven't seen him in days. We just like sleep next to each other, but that's about it. Okay guys, a completely new look, right? We had around 40 minutes at home, which was enough to like change the hat. Look at this, right? Insane. I really, really love it. I think mean, it's a great, great, great job. Very sparkly. Also sparkly dress and for your money, total look. I even did my whole face full of Giorgio Armani beauty products on my lips. I know you guys will ask. You always ask me. I have the Giorgio Armani Lip Power Lipstick in 109. It's just so easy to kind of like apply retouch everything what can i tell you we are three hungry girls but we managed to stop by get some snacks we are going to Bergognone. i also wanted to update you even though like it's very very intense i had a headache before because i think like it was just all intense now i'm feeling great also my toe is healing very well i mean well enough that i'm actually wearing high heels which are pointy and it's not really even black anymore it was completely like bruised yesterday it's incredible how fast the human body can heal right so that's an update on everything like my kind of style lifestyle and style and now we're heading to Bergognone where we're gonna see what Giorgio Armani has prepared for us for the Emporio Armani collection I know that I should keep it cool babe now lose my swag and play the fool Okay guys, we arrived at the Emporio Armani. The venue looks like very clean, very minimal. I'm loving it. I'm loving my look. It glows especially good with this light. guys straight from the show and we came to exhibition at Armani Silos I don't know if you can remember but I actually visited the exhibition before it was just a different one today we're seeing some really really special this is from 1979 <sighs> ah, the good old 70s as you can see the influence we're gonna have a look around I think I can see a picture that is like very famous over there I'm gonna have a little look and then we have to go because I have to change and we're going to the next one Invite is here. We're going to GCDS. It's a bit of a craziness here. Wow, people are screaming. I didn't show you my look. I always have nipple covers on, always, always, always. But like this dress is so small that it don't even fit. So just wish me good luck. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, wow. This is a good place to show you my outfit. So we got a mini, very, very, very mini, tiny little black dress with crystal straps to match my hair. And voila. And look at the shoes. What else can I tell you? Well, there's a lot of music. We're in a kind of like an ice rink, I believe. This is my bag. It's not a sample. It's actually my GCDS bag. And I'm very excited to see the collection because I heard that it's going to be very different than usually. 
What are you looking forward to the most during Milan Fashion Week, Brian? Seeing my friends. I don't care about oh fashion. <laughs> we are fashion. How are you this feeling? What's week. the hardest thing during Milan Fashion Week? The hardest? I think the hardest thing in Milan Fashion Week is that you have to go to a lot of events. Yes. You know, you have to make time for everyone, for everything, and for every situation. And it does get stressful, but you have to put on a brave face. And it's did worth you, it in the end. Sorry to interrupt. Did you ever have someone get upset with you because they felt like you didn't give them enough time and you were like so stressed because you're arriving at an event, you're like... Oh yes, all the time. Especially when, you know, when you bump into people and I wish I have the memory of an elephant. But for example, some people will get offended if they approach me at an event, I'm rushing and they're like, Brian, we've met like 18 years ago at the rooftop party of the Standard Hotel 18 years ago. You were wearing the cap. They do remember everything and I'm like, for me, you know, I want to be gracious, I want to acknowledge, but it's hard. We meet so many people every day. True. So do you tell them I'm so sorry, but I don't remember or do you like go with it? I usually just go with it. Same. Or what I usually do is if I have a friend beside yeah, me, the same. I'm going to introduce I'm my like, friend Tamara. Have I introduced you to Filippo? And, and then, then I then wait for them to, to say, say their, their name. name. And they're like, yes. I do the same. Yes. We have the same tricks. You know? You know? Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade. It's very important. I think it's very rude to tell someone, I'm so sorry, I don't remember. Because unless it's like a really particular situation, because there's just no need to make people feel uncomfortable. You know? You know we're here to make people feel that, you know, that yeah. we acknowledge them and we you know fashion I, is Exactly. Yeah. I love to make people feel special always. Me too. We try. Don't get anything done, you stuck on my mind. I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe. This feeling I go when I say what we had. Won't you come on over? Good morning guys, it's a new day. Last night, I don't think I can even remember what was the last thing you see. I think I was going to GCTS, the show itself. After that, I came home. I went for a little dinner at Nobu again. <laughs> this is like twice in a row, Nobu, but I wouldn't complain, I love it. We went with the Armani Beauty team for a little dinner with the girls that I haven't seen in a very long time. That was really nice because also like they could meet Filippo, I really love that. And then Filippo and I went to a Prada party and honestly like it was, I will insert if I have a clip or a picture from the party. It was crazy. It was the party to be at. It was just, it was in the same place where the show was, woke up early in the morning. Like last night when I got home and I was showering because yesterday was just so busy. You know, when you're showering like the whole day off and it feels so good. That's how it was. And today we are getting dressed. Well, I'm getting dressed. I'm dressed actually. I'm wearing my Sportmax look. I was just uh, styling it with some of my accessories. This is my Bottega belt that I've had now since I feel like pre pandemic era. And then I got this Saint Laurent cuff. If I can find it online, I will link it below. I love it. It's not too heavy. I have two actually Saint Laurent cuffs. It's like very big, but it's like very statement piece, you know? I felt like this look was very simple because it was like a skirt, a waistcoat and a blazer. But if I add like heavy metals to it, it would really have that fashion vibe. So that's the plan. We're going to sport most first. Then we're going to quickly come back because I want to film a TikTok and getting dressed for Gucci. And then we're going to Gucci. And I am obsessed with my look. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. So we're going to pick some shoes and we got to get going. With you, I feel a breaking Okay guys, we're starting the morning with Sportmax. I got my look. I don't know if I've shown it to you properly, yes. Uh, we're gonna do the photo call now and we're gonna get in for the show. When you see my Gucci outfit, you will flip. Ready? 
So, okay, let me tell you. I actually had another dress as my sort of like a first choice. I reserved it for myself. I'll insert the picture. I tried it on the showroom, so I went for a fitting there. I didn't vlog that, thank God, because I think this vlog is like three hours long. And then I saw this hanging on the shelf when I tried the dress on, and I was like, let me just try it on. I normally don't like to try too many looks, you know, because I always know what I want. It's very, very easy for me to do the fittings. I see what I want. I ask for it, and that's it. And then I saw this dress. I tried it on, and I was like, this is just such a sophisticated chicness. Look at this detailing, the embroidery, the velvet. It's like very chic. It looks kind of like, you know, such a sophistication, but then because of the cutout, it's a little bit sexy too. I have these silver shoes that I actually am yet to close. They're not closed yet, but they were like, do you want another bag? And I was like, you know what? I can wear my white jacket because I love this bag. I've already worn this bag several times this week. So that's that. I'm ready. I'm going to just like mattify a little bit of my forehead and we are going to Gucci. Okay, so I wanted to show you the invitation. I was just filming the TikTok here of getting dressed and it had like an actual invite, which I placed here. And then there's like a Polaroid. It's very like nostalgic vibes. It's giving me nostalgic vibes. And guys, this is going to be the first woman's ready to wear Gucci without Alessandro Michele. This is like a moment for history, you know? It's not like whatever. This is like a very important historical moment. So we need to take it very seriously. I, Gucci's also sent me lots of, lots of, lots of lovely gifts. One of which are these sunglasses that are basically like iconic. Okay, this is your best hangover solution ever, you know? When you come and ask your pharmacist what's the best hangover solution, this is it. I love them. Anyway, so I think it's very hard to get off. Would you have like a ton of hair sprayed hair around your ears? I just think I pulled like a strand or two. And that's it. I'm gonna pack that invitation. We're gonna go because the show's actually like a good half an hour away. So we're gonna leave now because the show starts in 40 minutes. Okay, it is a little bit colder today than the other days and a little bit grayer, but everything is so colorful and beautiful if you ask me when I'm on my way to Gucci. Everything is Gucci when I'm on my way to Gucci. I think that's the best way to put it. Maybe I need a little lipstick too. Touch up and let's go and see my friends. Boyfriend. Yeah, we do share the boyfriends. <laughs> you know? We share the boyfriends, not the best friends. You know, oh like my you god. At first you, you were here, you were here, and I was like, there's a little bit of space between looks like and smooth. then you kept getting closer and closer and closer, and I was like, this is my best friend. Okay? Come on. She's too back, cute. We have to all share her. Back to high school, I sure. love it. <laughs> She's honestly know? the best Aww. asset to have. Like a friend. That is like good at advices, yeah, good she's at calming perfect. you down, uh -huh. good at like hyping you, telling you that you're like smart. She always tells me I'm the smartest. I, yeah, I also Honestly. hate her to say all these things. And even she laughs always at my jokes, even the bad jokes. Yeah. Like, I, I make so many bad jokes, she always laughs. No, that's that's a good friend. Tamara is the sassiest person in fashion. <laughs> the sassiest. Really? I wouldn't have ever guessed. No. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you for participating in my YouTube. Look at those abs. No, honestly, I know, look, you look gorgeous. I, know. I love the brown with the silver. Thank you very much. I love these boots. I'm feeling a thank bit you. like this is That's clearly, also why you're jealous you know, I was like, oh, it. it was a twin. So David and I, we connected over yeah. the same broken Prada. Oh my god, we both broke our And you know what? Did you I do it again? Got, did you break them you as well? You didn't get another? Guys, I was just snacking because today was a little bit all over the place. But Gucci show, oh my god, it was, I loved it. First of all, first impression is the photo call, I'll insert the picture. It was like this kind of elevator, but very nostalgic, you know? It's kind of like a Gucci, that like green carpet that I think like Gucci, like Tom Ford era was very prevalent. And in a way, I don't know, I, I think because I grew up with this time of like Tom Ford's Gucci era, 
when I dreamt about fashion. It really gave me that nostalgic vibe, you know, it brought everything back, the magazines, you know, like old editorials and things. Then we entered the show. The venue was also a little bit nostalgic. I mean, what else to expect? And then the show, wow, there was this like denim look with the belt. I need to check if I still have like my Gucci belt. I must have it somewhere. I just need to find it with this like kind of old style buckle, the coats, the bags with the horse bit. That was just wow like I, I loved it loved it loved it loved it so overall i have to say a little bit of 70s a little bit of like tom ford um and the best moment for me was seeing the studio at the end come out of these lifts and just kind of like get a standing ovation and an applause because it's hard to work without a creative director yes like gucci has announced a new creative director but this collection was done by the studio and then i believe that the cruise will be the first show that will be done with the new creative director so it's really really exciting times for gucci i hope you guys looked at the collection i hope you liked it i certainly did what does multitasking look like so i'm currently selecting my look for jean baptiste Valli in paris but i'm pre-selecting kind of like pre-reserving so that when i go for a fitting they can leave what i love and i can try on and see what works the best and i'm also getting dressed to go to rene Villa presentation if you think why are my shoes in my life it's because they're brand new i just got them and unboxed them today this 50 year anniversary Anniversary, guys of this shoe Cleopatra with the snake like this one has like a little crystal on the little snake's head I love it so much and actually I think these will work. I was thinking what do I want to wear them with it's like 5 p.m. it's not quite evening so I opted for the Bottega dress I will link it below I love this dress it's like a longer on the side it's shorter but you can kind of tighten it and I love this dress so much I love everything from this Bottega ready to wear collection I think I even maybe love ready to wear more than I do um, accessories which is a bold statement Magda Butchum blazer over it these are the shoes how beautiful right oh I love them so much look at this stunning 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 so we're going now to Calvilla presentation then we need to shoot girls remind me please one look also on the street for a little story so it's like a little project and we're going to Sarah Battaglia presentation as well and then technically I'm done for today I just have the Gucci party tonight but I really will need like two hours because I need to post all the content, I need to edit all the content, I need to post all the pictures. I mean, it's a lot, no? So, one thing at a time, let's go to Covila. Okay, let's see, we're here. Buongiorno. Ho un appuntamento per Rene Covila presentazione. Scala B, 10 miliardi. Grazie. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. Guys, this morning was a little bit stressful because we had all the time in the world and that's the worst. The first show is at one and when you have like all the time in the world, it's always like you feel like you're running late, you know? And actually we're not really running late, it's just that I get like anxious. We're going to the Dolce and Gabbana show. Kim Kardashian is going to be there. The traffic will be crazy uh, for sure because everybody is going to go and see Kim. My look is insane. Is this our best look? I don't know. It's hard to say what's my best look. Oh, Gucci. It was also amazing. I think it's like they're very different, but this look is really like so special, so different. I feel that it's been like a while. It's been a few years since I've been to Dolce and Gabbana show. It's been, I'll tell you exactly how long. Three years, more than three years, three and a half years, which is a lot of seasons, six, seven seasons since I've been last to a Dolce and Gabbana show. And this morning I discussed that with Filippo. I was saying like, wow, I was, if you ask me one brand that I was wearing all the time and spending most money on, it was Dolce & Gabbana. I was like buying everything. I had to have every print. I was working super closely with the brand. Then obviously we had like a little break. And I feel like, you know, the times have moved on. The collections are completely different. I don't know if you see, but I'm wearing a black look. It's, there's not a single print in my situation right now. I feel like the brand direction, the collections are just wait and see how big is even gonna get because the collections are extremely stunning so i'm very excited to see today's i also have a look for tonight because tonight we're going for a dinner we received this huge invite which it says well it had my name on it and then there's like it's like a book like a poster book and it's so gorgeous i love the dolce and gabbana makeup look i tried to recreate a bit of a cat eye and that's that glam hair just bouncy locks done this morning at like eight o'clock and now we're going to the show so let's see what's up over there when the day 
We made it to the show, it's crazy. It's like I've never seen people so excited for a show before. You can literally not even say anything. So we're gonna try our best to do some amazing content for you and we'll see you later. Okay, ladies, well, Nikki, you got a good light. Yeah. The show's about to start. What do you expect to see? Minimalism or maximalism? Maximalism, I think. Yes? Yes. That's okay. Piece. Okay, let's see. It's okay, about to start. Here, Kim just walked past us wearing She's so like. gorgeous. Yeah, like all red. red. Yeah. Crystallized. Full. She's sitting there. And. That was Dolce and Gabbana. I have to say it was... I've never seen people more excited about a show. Like, there were so many people outside. Afterwards, we kind of barely could get out. It was crazy, but like very well organized, I have to say, because the PR was waiting for us at the door, then at the photo call, then I had to do like all of my like things were kind of like very well handled. I was taken to my seat, sat down, had my pictures taken, you know, all like the good stuff in right way. So uh, there was no confusion about anything at any point, which was great. The collection, like I told you, I think just is going in such a great direction. Really beautiful. And now we are actually at Jimmy Choo presentation. Here we are. We just arrived. We can get out and see what Jimmy Choo has got prepared for us this season after a sip of coke. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I deserve a plate of pasta this fashion week so a little break but I also wanted to show you a total look because I raved about it so much so we have this maxi skirt which I'm obsessed with it has like a tiny micro belt a year 99 there's a bra like very Dolce style and then there's like a kind of um, sleeves that go on top of it like long sleeves my Sicily bag my sunglasses and that's the look now let's go and grab a meal okay guys it's a little bit freezing outside but I'm having a real chow kim moment with my pasta the thing is though what you don't know yet I think my boyfriend is somewhere there not sure if you can tell uh, currently busy talking but tonight we will be going for a dinner with Kim Kardashian herself. This is so gorgeous, I love it. I want it now, that's the problem. Do you like this one? Okay, let me let me. Why think. am I not a sample size in custom? No, you're not, but I'm going to have Why? it produced for your birthday. Can okay? we just change the sample size in Casa to my shoe size? Uh, I know someone within the company, maybe. <laughs> no, my father doesn't really. I'm gonna speak to him. I don't know how to say that in Italian. That's mañana per la mañana is okay. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, it's just very nice. Si, si, grazie. This is Apple Winter, non ce l'ha sì, nessuno al mondo. So. Ah. Te le faccio produrre domani, mañana per la mañana, ok? Sì, chiamiamo la factory. Io amo, amo che tu parli italiano. Io non vedo. Buongiorno, ma possiamo cambiare il... Parli un po' bene, non parli un po' in merito, Taglia però. di sampo. <ride> 40 mi serve bene, sì? Vieni una, con me. Una Vieni 40. Con me. Non mica problemi. Dopo bisogna vedere dove gli devi portare perché non sa mai neanche dov'è, è sempre da una parte e dall'altra. Mi serve sempre... una 40. A Milano va bene la delivery, Cesare si sta preoccupando della delivery. Ma tutto, tutto. Guys, last appointment of the day or even of Milan Fashion Week is going to be match and match. You guys know how much I love the match and match shoe. So we are going to see the presentation. We're going to see the new collection of the shoes. And I'm going to bring you with me because I know that you guys also want to see the shoes and I cannot wait. 
new collection is gonna be so good. After that, I have to take one picture for a project that we're doing, and then I'm gonna go home, remove my makeup, and tonight, careful, <laughs> and tonight we're just going to the Kim dinner. I've changed my outfit, not that much, but it's a white suit, white and black. I really love this kind of like suit. The suit is Saint Laurent, still the same Dolce bra and the bag. And I have these shoes, which are by the brand Trejuan. Okay guys, I just made it to Palazzo Reale. It looks insane. My friends are already here, so I'm gonna catch up. Emily's there, wait, you can't see her. She's there. Emily's there, Max, and this place looks insane. I'm gonna show you now. I've been thinking about crossing the line and just giving. 